Well, time now to answer some of your plant questions, and Carrie Engel from Valley View Farms is here with me. Hi, Carrie. Hello, Lisa. This is so beautiful. It doesn't even look real. I know. It's, it's a cool plant. This is cyclamen. It actually is grown from a corm, and this will continue to send up blooms. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's all sorts of little buds coming up, and they'll keep on going. Hmm. And this, if you keep it right, it's going to make it until probably March wow. in bloom. Um, they come in colors in purple and white and light pink and some variations of all that. So it's a, it's a really cool plant to have around the house this time of year. And it loves a cool house. If you have 80 degree house, it's not going to make oh, it. But that's a nice 60 gift. to 70, yeah, it's a great gift. People forget plants as gifts. Exactly. Okay. Let's get to the questions. What can I safely spray on my house plant to get rid of insects that is safe to use around my family and pets? Well, two of the ones we use the most at the greenhouse if we ha see little guys. Uh, one is insecticidal soap, and it's mm -hmm. specifically formulated for plants. And the other one is horticultural oil. Um, the horticultural oil just suffocates little guys in place. So that, they're, they're both pretty safe to use. The horticultural oil also kind of shines your leaves up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you get a little bonus with that. Okay. This question comes from Barry Sims because <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> he actually killed a plant in the IT office. How do I bring a dead plant back to life? Well, you, it's gone now. Yeah, it's but. gone now. Yeah, I, you know, sometimes you can cut them back and they may get comfy back. I'm going to say that probably 80% of the time a plant dies is because of too much watering or insufficient drainage. So just he watch that. He didn't talk to it. Well, that's, yeah, and he probably, did he play music? No. I mean, you got to take care of these guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make them part of your life. Okay. <laughs> I replanted my Japanese red maple tree and all of the leaves fell off. Now, there it is before. Okay. And then all the leaves fell off. Wow, okay. Sometimes it's just a, a, it's transplant shock, and I wouldn't really worry about it. If you can take your thumbnail and just kind of scrape the bark, see if it's still green, then it's probably going to be fine for next year. In a pot, be a little bit careful, because if that the root ball freezes over mm -hmm. the winter, you're going to lose the plant. So put it up close to the house, or put some bags of mulch around it to stop this it This is inside. Going. This is an indoor plant. Oh, that was an indoor plant. I'm yes. sorry. I thought it was Japanese maple. This is Claire's. She said it was a Japanese maple, and that it, I think it's inside. Okay, we'll have to look at that again, because a Japanese maple should be outside. There you go, Claire. <laughs> so that might Claire, be right our EP. There. It should be inside. All right, I'll check I it mean, out, Claire. It should be outside. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not quite sure what the answer is. All right. Is we'll check it out again. All right. Thanks, Carrie. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa.